Hello. This is a presentation on the hardness analysis function for the SPIP. Here's an atomic force microscope image of an indentation made in aluminum. It was made using a hyzotron nano indenter using 10 millinewtons force. You can see in the 3D mode as you look at the profile, there is some pileup. The indentation was made using a three-sided Berkovich indenter. To begin the analysis, go to Processing and click on the function Hardness. It automatically draws an outline around the indentation. The first item it asks for is what force was used to make the indent, in this case 10 millinewtons. If you want to include the pileup, click on Include Pileup, and it changes the outline. Now it shows where the indenter made contact with the sample, including the pileup area. The hardness for Vickers is the load divided by the surface area contact at full load. The surface area is calculated based on the Berkovich indenter geometry. The contact area versus depth is 26.44 times the contact depth squared. The projected area is 24.56 times the contact area squared. However, indenters are not perfect. We need to calibrate the area functions because of tip rounding. Mm. We select the terms to use, the depth, and the elastic reconstruction constant. The elastic reconstruction constant is used to create a new image of the indentation where the depth of the pixels has been increased by a linear amount, 0.13 for aluminum. Once you have a reconstructed image, you can take that image and you can slice that into sections and at each section calculate the projected area. Then you make a relationship between the depth and projected area and those data points can be used to fit the equation we've chosen, the number of terms that were selected. And now we see the calibration feed function has two coefficients. Here's the old value, 47.5. When we click Calculate, it goes to 48.3. It changed about one Vickers hardness. Thank you.